I'd just like to point out the um, elections are over, so there's there's a bit more scope in in what we can play, and this is so long ago the the radio shows. Uh, November two thousand and ten. So I'm I'm sure that's okay, and I'm going to be doing a play, uh, which I'm trying to keep balanced. It's called Oxford Midsummer. Hash Oxford Midsummer, if, if you like. You'll, you'll find bits and pieces. I can't get onto Twitter at the moment. It's not it's not working. I'm not sure, not sure why that is. So I can't link to it. But it's um, it started out the the paper review on BBC. They were saying that Partygate ought to become a um, a play of some kind, and then I thought of um, uh, well, it was actually last the summer wine in a BBC sort of way. The, the 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 way the police there comment, they sit in their car and comment on things that go by, and I thought about the the chorus, and. Um, then I, th I think the BBC sort of gave up on it as a st well they haven't given up on it as a story I think ITV are more interested ITV are, are prepared to break news whereas I, I'm not trying to be controversial but I, I, this is just the impression I get anyway I thought perhaps it should be a murder mystery um, set either in Oxford or in countryside around Oxford because I think nobody knows where Midsummer is but it might be within driving distance, so it's um, it's a conversation of uh, people who work in the police force uh, commenting about what's going on in in the Met and also now in Durham. It's getting to be a very complicated story, but they meet up every so often and just have a conversation about what what's going on. But they've got at this stage anyway, they've got no strong opinions, um, and this is this will happen for the the first half of it. My idea is to do um, two, in, in ITV terms it would be two a, a two shows, so there would be a two hour first bit and then a two hour next bit. And the first two hours are, are Creative Commons. That's to say anybody can rewrite it. Um, and the second bit I haven't really done much about, but uh, I will need an advance and um, possibly some ghost writers, if downstage writer prepared to redo it. That would be very good. Um, or if uh, somebody else wants to do it all together, or, or if um, somebody will underwrite the, the legal uh, aspects of it, because um, there has to be one journalist in the in the cast, because it's t it's turning out to be a story about journalism, as well as whatever it started with. Um, but that re in involves quite a lot of speculation and um, so I, I won't go into that a lot in the first bit but um, th there'll be sort of hints towards it and um, according to the, the, the blog and the twittering the, f the first body has appeared uh, with, but not that might be an accident uh, that's just to let you know. There'll be more about this, and it'll either be as improv, um, which we might find people in Exeter to do it, or just as maybe two actors, in which case um, it might it might be Widsith and Deal, but I'm not sure whether they'd get into it or not. Is it? So the, the minimum re requirement for this play is one one journalist and one police officer off duty talking in a in a pub. Probably in a pub garden because uh, in the sunshine you don't have to worry about lighting. So the, the production costs could start out very small, but it, of course it could get more complicated if anybody was interested. And um, ITV will get the first offer because it's all their formats being uh, being based. But it'll be based on their on their ideas. So they'll probably have ways of reworking it anyway.